What's up guys, I'm Chirag and welcome to part 2.2 of the tutorial series on AWS Cloud Formation. So guys, in this tutorial, we will go through the mappings within template in AWS Cloud Formation. So what exactly is mappings? So when we think about mappings, the very first thing that comes in mind is a key value pair, right? And mappings within template are actually the key value pair that we are going to define. So if you want to set or pick certain value based on certain value or based on certain condition, right, then at that point of time, we can use a mappings within template. So for example, you want to select certain security group based on the region uh, you are deploying in, right? So when I say deploying, it's the region in which you are creating this tag and based on that region, uh, you want to select the security group, correct? So at that point of time, you can use mappings. So let's try to understand this with an example. So here, as you can see on my screen, I have this template that is map.yaml. And here within this template, we are simply creating the EC2 instance, right? And the type of the EC2 instance is dependent on the input from the user. So what we are doing is we are taking the input in the form of parameters, right? So we are allowing user to select a value from the dropdown, which is basically dev prod and QA, right? And if user select dev, then the instance type should be t2.large. If he or she select prod, then instance type should be t2.xlarge. And similarly for QA, it should be t2.medium. And apart from that, it should also name the instance appropriately, right? So it should also add the name tag uh, based on the environment that user selects. If user selects dev, then the name of the instance, the name tag or the value of the name tag should be dev and similarly for QA and prod, right? So that's what uh, we are doing. So we are basically mapping the environment uh, with the instance type and the name, right? So let's get started. So now if we look at mappings on line number 12, so what does it say? So we have defined mappings on line number 12 followed by the env map on line number 13. So this is basically the logical ID logical ID or name, right? And this remains unique throughout the template. So here I have defined ENV name. You can define whatever you want as per your requirement, right? Which is followed by the key value pair basically. So here on line number 14, the dev is a key and it has two values that is instance type and instance type has a value that is t2.large followed by the name as dev. And then on line number 18, we have another key that is QA and its values similarly as dev and same goes for prod on line 22. Correct. So this is how you can define mapping. So if you want to define multiple mappings, right? So you can say env map one, something like this, and then you can go on defining the key value pair as we have defined within env map, right? So this is how you can define multiple mappings. So now let's start with the resources and then we will come back to the mappings and the parameters. But before that on line number one, we have defined AWS template format version that is standard basically 2010.09.09 followed by the description which says create EC2 instance. Right now let's start with the resources on line number 27. Now on line number 28, we have defined the logical ID for the instance, right? So that is basically the logical ID or the logical name. Right, followed by the type, what type of resource that we are dealing with is basically the AWS EC2 instance. So that's the reason we have defined type as AWS EC2 instance. Followed by the properties on line number 30. Now on line number 31, we are selecting the instance type. Now what should be the type of the instance? Now it depends on the input from the user, right? So if user select dev, then it should be t2.large. If he select prod, then it should be uh, t2.x large and similarly if he select QA then it should be t2.medium right so how we can fetch this value so to fetch the value we need to use this that is find in map right so basically find in map returns the value corresponding to keys in a two level map that is declared in the mapping section right now to reference certain value or to fetch certain value from the mappings we need to use exclamation find in map followed by one parameter that is basically in the square braces and that square braces accepts three parameters, right? So the first parameter basically uh, depicts the map name. So here in my case, the name of the map is env map. Now, if you have defined anything else like something like map, then 
it's going to be map over here, right? The name of the map. So in my case, it's env map followed by the second parameter that basically depicts the top level key. Now this top level key is coming from the reference environment. Now this environment is the logical ID that comes under the parameters. And what does parameters mean? That we want some sort of input from the user and we have covered parameters uh, in the previous tutorial, right? So if you're not aware about the parameters, then do refer the previous tutorial that is 2.1, right? So here, for example, user selected uh, dev, then as a part of the top level key, we will get dev over here. So this will be replaced by the dev and then followed by the third parameter that is going to be the second level key. So what we want as a part of the second level key is the instance type, right? So let me uh, make it simple. Now I want to select the instance type. What should it be? So I want to look into the map. So find in map in which map I want to look for. That is going to be the first parameter. That is I want to look within ENV map that is on line number 13. Now within ENV map, what I want to look for that is reference of environment, right? Now, for example, user selected dev. So I want to look for dev within env map that is on line number 14. Now within dev what I want to look for that is I want to look for the instance type and here we have the instance type. Now what is the value of the instance type is the t2.large. So as a result the instance type will be t2.large. So this is how find in map works or the mappings work right. Now uh, moving along uh, followed by the image id on line number 32 that is basically the ubuntu image ami id and were followed by the tags on line number 33 as i mentioned that i want to give appropriate name tag uh, to the instance that uh, we want we are creating right so for example if the uh, user selects dev then the name tag should be name colon dev so value should be dev similarly for prod it should be prod and finally for qa it should be qa right so that's where i have defined uh, tags on line number 33 followed by the key so what is the key that I want to define that is name and the value of that key is going to be the again find in map where I want to look for that is env map that is on line number 13 within env map uh, what I want to look for that is reference of environment. So for example user selected prod right then it will uh, find prod within that env map so that is on line number 22 and within prod what I want to look for that is I want to look for name and the value of the name is prod. So basically the value for this key name is going to be the prod as a value, right? So this is how uh, mappings and the find in map works. And finally on line number 37, we have defined outputs, which will basically output the instance ID or the instance name, right? So this is the uh, mappings that I want to cover. Now let's go ahead uh, to the AWS console and let's try to deploy this. So navigate to AWS management console, uh, navigate to cloud formation service and click on this three dots on the top left corner. Click on stacks, say create stack. We will say upload a template, choose a file. I will say map.yaml. Now the template is uploaded successfully. Click on next. Now here we need to give the stack name. So I will say C2, something like this. And within parameters, I need to select the environment. So let's say I select prod, right? And I will say next. Now, as we know that we have selected prod, right? So what should be the instance type in case of prod? It should be t2.x large and the name tag should be prod, right? So that's what we need to look for after creating this tag. So let's move on, click on next. And finally we will say create stack. Now the creation has been started, right? So let's wait. Now, as you can see, the stack creation has been completed. Now let's click on resources from here. Now, as you can see, the instance has been created and we can actually click on this physical ID to navigate to the EC2 management console and look at that instance. 
So as you can see, here we have the instance. Now the instance type is t2.x large, as you can see, and the name is being defined as prod, right? So this is how the mapping works, as you can see, right? So basically this is how you can define mappings. So this was one of the example, but you can use mappings as and when required based on your requirement. Right. So, well, uh, that's all I wanted to cover in this tutorial. And as usual, if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service, then please leave them below and I will try my best to come up with a tutorial as soon as possible. And if you have any queries or comments, then again, please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time.